like flying, do you? You want to know the secret to surviving air travel? After you get where you're going, take off your shoes and your socks. Then you walk around on the rug barefoot and make fists with your toes. Hey, what's up, girls? If you trying to go in the bathroom, we could cramp up, you know? All right, everybody, you already know what I'm gonna ask you. Is this a Christmas movie or is it not a Christmas movie? Bruce Willis said it's not a Christmas movie, so. I don't give a fuck. I really didn't even think this movie came out in the 80s. I thought this came out in the 90s, man. I want to congratulate each and every one of you for making this one of the greatest years in the history of the Nakatomi Corporation. So are we gonna get raises? Like, hell nah, you get a pizza party. Hey, Holly. What about dinner tonight, huh? Harry, it's Christmas Eve. Are well, you gonna take her to Steak and Shake with your cheap ass? Chestnuts? Any of these things ring a bell? Actually, I was thinking more of mulled wine and ice age brie. Hey, boy, I'm trying to get up in them guts tonight. Last year, I was just warming you up. Let me talk to Paulina, okay, hon? And no snooping around the house looking for presents. Oh, that's his wife. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see what... So, it seemed like she was somewhat entertaining that conversation. Like, they actually had history. So, she cheating on her husband? Um, it might be a good idea to make up the spare bedroom just in case. Uh, Sorry. they're divorced. I would say John McClane is probably one of the most badass action movie names, bro. We got everything in this mug, man. Look at this. CD, CB, TV, telephone, full bar, VHS. What is CB? So are your lady live out here? About the past six months, meaning you still live in New York. You always ask us many questions, Argyle. <laughs> so you divorced? Just drive the car, man. Hey, come on, you divorced? You separated? <laughs> she... You are asking way too many questions. You getting too personal real quick. This dude asking to get slapped. Six month backlog in New York scumbags. I'm still trying to put behind bars. I can't just pick up and go that easy. In other words, you thought she wasn't gonna make it out here and she'd come crawling up back to you. So why bother to pack, right? <laughs> this dude is bold to be talking like this to a customer. You got any Christmas music? This is Christmas music. So if it doesn't work out, man, you got a place to stay? I'm gonna pull in the parking garage and I'll wait. You score, you give me a call on the car phone. Crazy, I thought that that was an entirely different person. I'm here to see Holly McLean. Just type it in there. Cute toy. Now, I don't know if I heard, it was Bruce Willis their first choice or he wasn't the first choice? Or was he like declining to be in the movie and they just kept begging him to be in the movie? I, I forget what I heard about this movie. Dude, I hate to see marriage, marriage is falling apart, man. Wow, what an office, man. This is incredible. It really looked like a penthouse, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Merry Christmas. Who the f are you? Man, you don't get your drunk ass off of me, bro, before I slap you like Will Smith. Are you serious? Well, let's... That's crazy, bro. Walk into this dude doing cocaine in her office. I definitely wanted to do a Bruce Willis movie after hearing the news that he's retiring. She was made for the business. Tough as new. I was hoping you made that flight. Yo, why are you staring at me like that, bro? Man, she ain't even all that, bro. You know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I don't know why she was acting so shocked to see him. Like, she knew he was coming. I guess it was just the realization of, like, finally seeing him. Yo, what type of company I got running up over here, bro? What type of office party is this? Remind me of that comedy. The office Christmas parties really be wild like that? They figure a married woman's got You are a married that. woman, Holly. You're married to no, me. We're gonna have this Remember, conversation again. We did this in July. We I never finished this conversation in July. I had an opportunity. I had yeah, to take right. it. right. No matter what the consequences. What happened to his shoulder? That sounded like that hurt. I would not be able to do something like that. On the break, over to AC to match. Oh snap! They got freaking uh the Punisher in here. Oh, that's not the Punisher. It's like every action movie, you gotta have one dude who's like a freaking psychopath, man. But he's also like the tech man at the same time. 
P. Alan Rickman, man. Boy looking good. Oh, yeah, that dude Argyle is still in there. That boy was probably knocked out. I wouldn't have waited that damn long. I would have been left. Oh, snap, it's Jeffrey Dahmer. Shoot, that was fire what he did right there. I probably would have bust my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then we would have just been bumping down the stairs. I was about to say, whose corns is that? Dude, I guess I should try that. I think that's a good way to get people to relate to him and uh, like the character immediately. Who doesn't want a guy to get back with his family? All right, where are you? I'm kicking it down the garage. What's the word with you and your lady, man? Bro, what type of teamwork is this, bro? Stick to the plan, ugly ass nigga. Back here. Hello? Damn, what type of job was y'all preparing for, man? Y'all got these damn military grade weapons and stuff. Oh, I love that shot. That was nice. And how he came out the elevator was smooth. That sounded like some GTA Vice City sound effects. So you got a dip, bro. Everybody for themselves. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This this was the '80s, so you know, gotta see some titties. Damn, this dude ain't got no shoes on. Stay calm. Gonna be funny. Yo, you, well, you can take them all on. You high on cocaine right now. You got super strength and super speed. Shit. You said think, bro, not get horny. Where is Mr. Takagi? Born Kyoto, 1937. Family emigrated to San Pedro, California, 1939. President Nakatomi Trading. I really don't know how y'all don't know who this man is unless you just playing around. How do you do? It's a pleasure <laughs> to meet you. Nice suit. I have two myself. So who would y'all say is probably the best action villain, bro? I haven't really seen a lot of the old school action movies, so. Any information you could get when they wake up in Tokyo in the morning, they'll change it. You won't be able to blackmail our executive, threaten our profit. Sit down. That got computers in the freaking table, bro. It's crazy how I'm saying that, but like we probably got better technology now, but it's just, I've never seen something like that. But I need the code key because I am interested in the $640 million in negotiable bearer bonds that you have locked in your vault. Hey, how'd you find out about that money? What kind of terrorists are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who said we were terrorists? This dude is killing it already, man. The code, please. I'm going to count to three. There will not be a four. I gotta treat you like a kid now. The disrespect. One, two, three. I don't know what I'm telling you. You just gonna have to kill me. Okay. God dang! Yo, what type of gun is that? <laughs> oh my god! Yo, you didn't have to blow his brains out like that. Argyle, tell me you heard the shots. You're calling the police right now. Of course I'm still coming by later. That high up? Come on now. Heck no, nah, he didn't freaking hear those shots. And that boy vibing. I'm sorry. The seventh lock, the electromagnetic seal. You do understand the circuits cannot be cut locally. Trust me. Shoot, which Die Hard movie would you say is your favorite? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come to Papa. I kiss your Dalmatian. Oh, you stupid mother. No, no. Turn the truck around. 
What? <laughs> no one is coming to help you. What, you about to eat my ass? What? Get away from me, Jeffy Dahmer. I really don't even know why you thought that he would be hiding right there. So many other places to hide. It's the police. Bro, kill him before he chews on your tibia. Hey. Oh my god. I know all this had to hurt, bro. Golly. Yo, oh my goodness. And his nose was broken. All right, Jack is Go in his pockets. Take that boy's shoes. I hope he's not still alive. And they're gonna be like some type of jump scare or something. Nine million terrorists in the world and I gotta kill one with feet smaller than my sister. Oh, well, I, I love that they did this cause I would've been like, wow, that's crazy. The first person he kills got the same size shoe that he got. That is badass. <laughs> Girl, if you don't get away from that crackhead, man. Well, actually, not nah, stay by him. He can protect you. A security guard we missed. I'm usually tired of policemen growing fat on a pension. No, no, no. This is something else. Oh, yeah, that's smart. Okay. Take the body upstairs and out of sight. I don't want the hostages to think too much. I wonder why a lot of people say that they don't make good action movies anymore like this. What, is it because a lot of the action movies nowadays are a little bit over the top or something or what? Because to me, they seem like they fine. Yay, some yiddies. Mayday, mayday, anyone copying channel nine? Terrorists have seized the Nakatomi building and are holding at least 30 people hostage. Somebody answer me, God damn it! The roof. That's bold right there. Cause I, I wouldn't really do something like that. Cause I would have known that they would have been on the other line hearing this. This channel is reserved for emergency calls only. The f Lady, do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? <laughs> 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 oh, Steph, I love that line. He delivered it perfectly. I'll have to report this as an FCC violation. Fine, report me. Come the fuck down here and arrest me. Just send the police now. Ooh, that scared the hell out of me, bro. Carl Winslow. I you guys just ate donuts. <laughs> They're for my wife. Yeah. She's pregnant. Yeah. I don't know why you talking. You fatter than me. This dude walking like he in Scarface. We're in the safe spot. <laughs> it's kind of like a video game, man. Came back to the safe zone. It's like Resident Evil. And then him tapping on the giddies. That's him saving his game. Oh my God, this is so scary. I can stall them, but not if they hear gunshots. If you lock him in, he'll be neutralized. I'll say they've been doing a really good job of building a lot of tension in so many different scenes. Oh, here go this iconic shot. Come out to the coast. We'll get together. Have a few laughs. Yo, I could not be in no vent like that, bro. Damn, I was hoping that he wouldn't just be shooting like that because I was going to say, man, I, hey, I'll just take a nap. Come on, bro. You doing too much. Just leave me alone. No signs of disturbance, dispatch. 8030, Roger. Possible crank call. Check I think I saw something on TikTok where he even answered the question if this was a Christmas movie or not. I forgot what he said. He's driving his car, Stevie Wonder. I do see a guard. What do you expect him to look. see? Three, motherfucker, jump it! Okay! Wait now! I'm sure to jump it! What? Why are you playing around with the Ooh, uh, he executed that combat role flawlessly. How the hell is this? That would have been dumb for you to kill a cop anyway, bro. Next time you have a chance to kill someone, don't hesitate. <laughs> oh, damn. Thanks for the advice.
advice. That was definitely one of the best scenes of the movie so far, bro. I loved it. just the exchange they had. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. What the hell? God damn it, is a <laughs> Okay, these dudes are like gone rogue. Okay, yeah, this is a good ass movie, bro. For a second, I was going into this movie thinking that it was probably gonna be overhyped. Nah, this is a good ass movie, man. Monica, I can get us a table. Wolfgang yeah. and I are Officer very close friends. No problem. I interviewed him for God's sake. Okay. I remember him. I forgot what movie he was in. He was a villain, though, I think. You are most troublesome for a security guard. <laughs> Sorry, Hans, wrong guess. Would you like to go for double jeopardy where the scores can really change? <laughs> you really think a security guard will risk their life or something like this? Mr. Mystery Guest. Yeah, I'm still here. Unless you want to open a front door for me. You know my name, but who are you? Just another American who saw too many movies as a child. Another orphan of a bankrupt culture who thinks he's John Wayne. Rambo. Dude, that's cool that they reference Rambo, though. I'm, I'm loving this scene, man. yippee ki motherfucker. Oh, sh they got that iconic line, hell yeah. Good evening, this is Harvey Johnson. And I'm Gail Wallens, and this is Nightline News at- She looks familiar, too. You the guy in the car? What's left of him? So what do I call you? Roy. All right, who's talking to him? <laughs> he had to be in this movie, man. He's like perfect casting to be in this movie. Powell, has it occurred to you he could be one of the terrorists pulling your chain? I don't think so, sir. In fact, I think he's a cop. Maybe not LAPD, but he's definitely a badge. How do you know that? A hunch. Things he said. This dude always want to be a hater, bro. Always quick to shut stuff down. We have a pregnant woman out there. Relax, she's not due for a couple of weeks, but sitting on that rock isn't doing her back any good. So I would like permission to move her to one of the offices where there's a sofa. No, but I'll have a surfer brought out to you. Good enough? Good enough. Hey, this dude, hella smart. People well, Mrs. Gennaro. Miss Gennaro. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that was fire. I love that shot. Ooh, that looked like something that would be on Law and Order or whatever. And the only communication now possible has been through the use of CB communicators, which the group apparently... <laughs> yeah, that dude said, let me drink this straight. <laughs> Well, some booty magazines right there. Oh, it's candy. Oh, okay. Heck yeah, bro. I'll be tearing that freaking snack bar up. Yeah, bro, you done fucked up. Shut up. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring except the four assholes coming in the rear in standard. Yo, this is a great debate. Because uh, him just saying that line right there, that just really got me thinking, like, is this a Christmas movie? <laughs> They're shooting at him. They're shooting at the lights. They're going after the lights. Pull them back. <laughs> I don't care. Get back. Get the fuck back. Brother, what the hell are you doing, bro? You became a little bit too overzealous. <laughs> Betty, come in. Why would y'all go that way when you had to go up the stairs? Like, that's so stupid. Oh my God, the quarterback is toast. They're all right, all right, all right. Car, right. That is so freaking dumb, man. They could have came through any other angle of the building. These got these big ass windows. Let's see, take this under advisement, jerkweed. All right, MacGyver, what the hell? Oh yeah, cause that will create a spark. Oh my God. Damn. Yo, that looks like freaking Independence Day. Oh. 
Now that explosion right there got me scared. It made me think that the building was gonna fall down. Sources say the terrorist leader Hans, maybe this man Hans Gruber. That is a badass action movie villain name, bro. Now you listen to me, mister. I don't know who in the hell you think you are or what you're doing, but you just destroyed a building. Not really, it's still up. You listen to me, you little old. I'm, I'm not the one who just got butt on national TV, Dwayne. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Quick way to shut a dude up. Hope I'm not interrupting. What does he want? <laughs> it's not what I want, it's what I can give you. It's obvious you're not some dumb schmuck up here to snatch a few purses, am I right? You're very perceptive. He looks like a typical douche. You're amazing, you figured this all out already. <laughs> hey. <laughs> He's just baby. showing him sarcasm. Hans, Bobby, I'm your white knight. The guy upstairs is fucking things up, huh? Is that Raiden? I was thinking that was the Punisher. No, is that Raiden? Hell no! <laughs> Sorry. What did they put in these things anyway? Sugar and rich flour, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, polysorbate 60, and yellow dye number five. Just everything a growing boy needs. Hey man, I, I love me some Twinkies myself, bro. But sometimes it gets a little much. I haven't had one in years, bro. Mr. Officer John McLean of the New York Police Department. Hey, John Boy. Ellis. Of course he would say John Boy. Oh my God, you a douche. Ellis, what have you told him? I told him we were old friends and you were my guest at the party. Ellis, you shouldn't be doing this. Tell me about it. Mm -hmm. Die Hard, brought to you by Coca-Cola. All right, John, listen. I want you to tell them what the detonators are. Mm. I know people are listening. Sounds so good. Don't you just love it when it burns your throat? Babe, put away the gun. This is radio, not television. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Ellis, these people are gonna kill you. Tell them you don't know me. It's already too late now. They about to pop him in the head. John, John. That's why you gotta stay off them drugs. <laughs> Yeah, at least let him let him finish his Coca-Cola first. <laughs> I thought he was gonna give up his wife, though. Why don't you wake up and smell what you shoveling? You listen to me, Sergeant. Anytime you want to go home, you consider yourself dismissed. No, sir. You couldn't drag me away. Attention, police. God, Lee, everybody's doing such a great job, bro. The following people are to be released from their captors. In Northern Ireland, the seven members of the new Provo Front. In Sri Lanka, the nine members of the Asian Dawn. What the f hey, What are you talking about? I read about them in Time magazine. Oh, you just saying bull <laughs> I was about to say, like, dude, you already know they don't have no jurisdiction on any of this. They ain't got no pool. One more to go, then it's up to you. And you better be right, because it looks like this last one's gonna take a miracle. It's Christmas, Theo. It's the time of miracles, so be of good cheer. Did you catch that bullshit Hans was running? Hey, don't ask me, man. I'm just a desk jockey who was on my way home when you rang. I'm, like, really surprised. I thought this dude was gonna be, like, guns blazing. I'm Agent Johnson. This is Special Agent Johnson. Oh, how you doing? No relation. I'm, uh... <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Please, God, no. You're one of them, aren't you? You're one of them. Right, come on, don't fall for that BS, even though that is smart as hell. Golly, this is crazy. What were you looking for? I managed to get out of there, and well, I was just trying to get up on the roof and see if I could signal for help, you know. Come on, you want to stay alive, you stay with me. God, oh my God, this is not what I was expecting. And why is he falling for this? You smoke? Yeah. <laughs> You don't work for Nakatomi. He's talked to this dude so many times. This dude's voice sounds the same, even though he doesn't have the accent. <laughs> yeah, it's better being caught with your pants down, huh? <laughs> it's like every single time that these two are interacting with each other, play. it's like this movie just gets so much more better. Bill, play. Now to use a handgun, Bill. Time for the real thing, Bill. Come on, bro. Please tell me he knows this dude is just messing with him and he's just playing along. 
33. Stock there. Kommt. Sofort. He put no bullets in there, right? Oh, well, well. It's pretty tricky with that accent. You gotta be on fucking TV with that accent. This dude has some of the same cadence and everything. Oops. No bullets. Stupid, Hans. You're saying? <laughs> Bro, I would love to be a part of a movie like this, man. God damn! Oh, that boy can't walk no more. Oh my God! She's Stim Finster. So even though he didn't fully know that it was Hans Gruber, I wonder why he decided to give him a gun with no bullets. Cause even if it wasn't Hans Gruber and they got into a sticky situation and this dude found out he didn't have no bullets, that could have been some person's life. Seem like this dude is gonna be the reason why they fail. On being that too. You got something. Tell me you got something. Just McLean's name, badge number, employment record, vital statistics, and his family's home address. What in the world? How the hell did you get that? She must have hit up one of the police officers and got into their cars, you know, and uh, did some stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. What kind of odds am I getting? You don't wanna know. Put me down for 20. I'm good for it. <laughs> God dang, how did it get super deep in there like that? I shot a kid. Oh, it was dark. I couldn't see him. He had a ray gun look real enough. You know, when you're a rookie, they can teach you everything about being a cop except how to live with a mistake. Dang, I didn't think we was going to be getting this deep with this movie, man. And those guys in the suits, I don't know who they are. That's the FBI. They're ordering the others to cut the building's power. The circuits that cannot be cut are cut automatically in response to a terrorist incident. You ask for miracles, dear. I give you the... <laughs> oh, my God. What? Damn. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is a great character, bro. Is that who I think it is? Yeah, Central? Yeah. Uh, yeah. This oh, is snap, it's that uh, guy. Uh, would it be possible for you to turn off uh, Grid 212? Are you crazy? That guy has such a great cast, man. <laughs> Merry f***ing Christmas, bro. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Dumb asses, man. It's always the cops, bro. When they touch down, we'll blow the roof. They'll spend a month sifting through the rubble, and by the time they figure out what went wrong, we'll be sitting on a beach earning 20%. I wouldn't even be able to keep going, bro. That's too much pain. I want you to tell her something. <laughs> tell her some good ass acting right here. Ah, uh, what a jerk I've been. And, uh,. The way he's going about this, like, he, like, really personally connects with this shit. I want you to tell her that, Alan. I want you to tell her that, uh, John said that he was sorry. Yeah, I got it, John. But you can tell her that yourself. They've had some good monologues throughout this movie. Look, you let me in right now, or I call the INS. Comprende? Why are you bringing the kids into this? John. Oh, I was hoping it was gonna be him. Yeah. We go ahead and have us a fist fight. Run me my fair one, bitch. Casper looking, bitch. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. oh, oh, he getting up in them ribs. God. <laughs> that boy had him up against them barrels like Mike Tyson, bro. So, is this is something you'd like to say to them if they're watching. Come home. Are you. Bro. This is McLean. How nice to make your acquaintance. Oh my god, I love what they're doing with the camera movement right here. <laughs> See, you wanna kill me? Kill me! You over there playing around and doing these freaking Power Ranger kicks. Like, come on now. I heard your brother squeal! And I broke his neck! 
<laughs> Yo, hey, 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 that's going a little bit overboard right there, John. Uh, oh, now you want to get the gun. Come on, bro. You the one who started this. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Bruce Willis like this, man. Yo, why are they showing her cleavage now? I mean, she, I ain't upset about it, you know? I'm just saying, like, came out of nowhere. It's, it's nice. They're great. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, this is one hell of a finale, man. I don't know what it is. It's just like whenever whenever he's like running away from being shot, it just looks so good, man. Oh, oh hell yeah. Come on. Oh my God, bro. I'm afraid of heights, man. I definitely can't do something like that. So you gotta get a shot like that. Yo, how are they doing this right now? I mean, every single time you're trying to catch your breath, bro, it's something else. I would have waited till he got out of the van and ran his ass over. Okay, I see you, Argyle. This is a great shot right here. You got me. Oh, yeah. What was it you said to me before? Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that was just hilarious how he delivered that. Oh, and I love the directing right there, bro. Girl, if you don't let go of this man. <laughs> Yo, whoever is the composer is killing it right here. That boy going to work in the studio. Showing him fall right there with his face was a fantastic shot. Hell yeah, let's go ahead and get it on right here for everybody to see, you know. Gee, y'all need a hug. Oh, that was a great shot right there, too. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Dude, men can hug, too. That was <laughs> my wife, Ollie. Ollie Gennaro. Holly McClain. Hello, Holly. It's crazy. A knight that could have killed this man pretty much just had him become reborn. <laughs> How did he get off of that? <laughs> okay, I see you, boy. Man, saved everybody's lives. Mr. McClain, Mr. McClain, now that it's all over after this incredible ordeal, what are your feelings? <laughs> he needs to get punched by both of them. And y'all need to freaking break their cameras. That's what I would have did. Ah, oh, nah, nah. New Year's is all about them two, man. They about to have some of the most passionate get downs that they had since they first got together. It doesn't show signs. All right, that's the end of the movie. Okay, everybody. Die Hard.
Yo, I'll say this movie blew me away. I really hope that you enjoyed my reaction. And please like the video, share, comment down below, subscribe, click the bills, so you know, when I upload more videos. Uh, you can follow me on all my social medias. Links will be down in the description below. Now, after watching this movie, especially with them playing this music, I will say, bro, this is a Christmas movie, bro. How can you not say this is not a Christmas movie, bro? Come on, they playing Christmas music. They referenced Christmas so many times. They've had Christmas puns. Like, come on, bro. This is Christmas. <laughs> okay everybody here we go with die hard man I, I really loved the performances throughout this movie the directing was fantastic I, I just i really thought this movie was going to be overrated this is like one of the best movies i've seen like one of the best action movies i've seen i felt like bruce willis killed it I can understand why a lot of people loved him in this movie. Of course, Alan Rickman killed it as well. Like everybody did a great job. So I can understand why people have loved these characters so much and why people love this movie so much. I can't wait to hear y'all thoughts. You know, what other action movies are some of y'all favorite? What's some of your other favorite action heroes? Uh, if you would like to see my full length reaction to this movie, any of the other movies I do, the TV shows I do, you can click the link down below in the description to my Patreon. I will go ahead and give this movie right here an A, bro. Yeah, with all of being said, man, I'll see you on the next one. All right, peace.